Yeah, that looks about right. I spoke with Peppy, the lead developer of OS. Let's get started, hello. And we talked about everything new in this laser update, starting with blobs. We did the blobs, yes. I asked quite a few people which they preferred of the old and the new Argon design, and most people seem to actually like the blobs more than I expected, so we went with the blobs. It's an initial pass as usual. Give us your raw feedback, but also make sure you play with it before giving feedback, please. <laughs> Argon for Catch is finally here, though this one's a bit rougher than the last two modes. Flight is still working on the design, and there's already some problems that Peppy is making considerations for. One is the catcher plate doesn't have enough uh, verticality, if that's even a word, so it's a bit hard to follow where the plate is. We currently have an artist working on a new Yuzu sprite to go beneath the plate, and Flight has also done a version of the catcher which doesn't have a Yuzu for people that don't want a character there. Hyperdash is the next one. Hyperdash is a bit hard to see because it's a red glow. It's kind of overlapping to an extent, like it's not defined enough with red combos. Flight is working on a Hyperdash visual. From what I've seen, it looks pretty evil. And the last major issue involves basic visibility. If you're playing without background dim or on a very bright background, you actually can't see hit objects because if the background is already white, they would just blend with it completely. It's on our radar and we'll figure out what to do with that into the future. As mentioned earlier, this is more or less a rough draft for Argon and Catch. It'll improve over the coming weeks, but it's still worth testing out so you can give feedback and make those improvements happen a bit sooner. This might be the most interesting reading-focused mod in OS. It loads every object in a combo, like a freeze frame, so in some cases it doesn't even feel like a difficult mod, then other times, yeah, you get the point. Originally, the mod changed approach rate for every circle, which felt awkward at times, but this current way of loading all approach circles and just having them slowly zoom in feels more natural. Meanwhile in Song Select, here's something you'll probably never notice. When searching for something like, say, Glass Beach, it'll automatically select the closest map. Before, it would select any of these options at random, though that was already better than stable selecting literally nothing. And completely unrelated, if you ever wanted gameplay behind your phone camera, this now exists. A lot of people have complained about this. The rest of this update is focused on one thing, improving the editor. As far as gameplay goes, Laser and Stable are extremely similar, but the editors are planned to diverge much more, and some of today's changes show that. For example, how Distant Snap is no longer connected to slider velocity. Let's say we decrease slider velocity right here. In Stable, this is how three sliders would look with the same Distant Snap. And here's how the same setup looks in Laser. And because, because mapping's changed so much over the years, like I don't know how, how much people are tying slider velocity to distance snap. I think most mappers are just adjusting it anyway from the default. You may have also noticed that distance snap looks absolutely insane in laser. These colors match timeline ticks, so you can visualize and place objects based on rhythm. It takes some getting used to, but for low difficulties, I found it legitimately cool. Yeah, this is also one which I implemented slightly different from Stable again. So in Stable, when you select an object, it showed the current and the previous distance snap. In Laser, it actually shows at the current point in time what the distance snap is. We'll see what the feedback is from mappers, and if they want the previous one back as well, we can potentially add that. This button here was added too, letting mappers set distance snap based on spacing between these two objects. So if I wanted equally spaced jumps, I would just do this. I love this button. Speaking of buttons, you can now press shift to quickly enable grid snap or alt to enable distance snap. This update allows you to enable both too, which Peppy has some thoughts on. Uh, I thought this was pretty stupid, but people have said they want it, so added it back. The clone option was also added in this update, but with slightly different functionality from stable. I honestly don't think most people even knew this existed, but it's here again anyway. What's more useful is this new shortcut to change a beat snap divisor, shift plus any number. And last thing in the editor here, let's talk about select all. Mappers do this more often than you'd think, so Peppy has been working on making this better through small changes like reducing the size of the spinner selection and making bulk selections not show slider anchors. Part of the work I did in this last week was allowing blueprints to change their visual state depending on how many total objects are selected, so we can potentially, you know, hide the slider paths when there's over 10 objects or something to improve performance and also just to reduce visual clutter depending on what mappers 
are interested in most. So I will say that the performance of selecting all, even though I've made a heap of changes in this uh, release for it, it's still bad. For the blueprints to display correctly, they kind of need to read the information from the gameplay state. So because all objects in gameplay are pulled, the ones which are like in the future are not actually existing yet. So to make the select all functionality in the editor work correctly, we need to actually create every object in the map at the point of hitting select all. And that is what adds the most overhead. To fix that, it's going to require a bit of a change of thinking on how the editor works. Yeah, this is a pretty complicated issue. So it may be a while before we actually see ideal editor performance, but it's still being worked on, just like a thousand other things in Laser. Anyway, that's about all for now. Read the full changelog for the smaller updates that couldn't fit in this video, and I'll leave you with some advice from the man himself. Just a word of caution, do not try doing a select all on the, um, what's the map called? With Temptation, is it? Um, the Unforgiving, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't try it on that. 